Today, we'll be installing the Oracle Lighting Off-Road Side Mirror Ditch Lights for the 2021 to 2023 Ford F-150. Let's get started. So the tools we're gonna be using today is a flathead screwdriver, a panel tool, a T15 Torx bit on an extension with a 3 8 ratchet, and a 10 mil uh, socket on an extension, and a quarter inch drill bit. All right, so first step, I'm gonna take the mirror off of the door. And to do that, I'm gonna open the door up. All right, so I'm gonna pull this panel off using my panel tool. I'm gonna create a gap of separation and just work the panel off. All right, so once the panel's off, you'll find one, two bolts, and then one, two nuts, all 10 millimeter. All right, lastly, I'm gonna unlatch this plug and pull it off. So, so we're gonna come around to the front side of the mirror and lift up. So you wanna tilt up, this hooks inside of the square, so you wanna tilt up and pull down and out. And your mirror's off. All right, so now that we got the mirror off the truck, we're gonna go ahead and start disassembling it. Uh, first step, we'll just take this uh, foam pad off, set it off to the side. Second step, We'll take this trim panel piece off. Comes right off. Third step will be to take the mirror off. All right, so to get the mirror off, you want to angle it downwards or upwards, actually. This is the bottom of the mirror. And inside, you'll see some clips holding everything on. And what you want to do is pull on the mirror and release those clips at the same time. So, to, for, uh, to complete the, the disassembly of this mirror, we're gonna take these one, two, three, four T15 uh, Torx bits out. So now that we got these four Torx bits removed, we're just gonna flip the mirror over. And it's gonna go out and up. Just like that. All right, so our next step is to get this plug out. All you gotta do is reach in there and pull on the wire. It's, it's sealed to the wire itself. Pull that plug out, we're gonna run our wire out of there. So now we'll take our side mirror cap, undo the wire, we'll fish it in this hole. And with this plug out, we'll reach our fingers in there and feel for it and pull it out. Just like that. All right, so now using our quarter inch drill bit, we're gonna just mark a hole and drill it uh, right next to the wire. And that's where we're gonna run our wire out of. All right, so now that we got our hole drilled, we're just gonna take a piece of wire um, and fish it in here. So we can get the wire through the back of that plug because there's not a lot of room to work with. All right, so now that we got that fished out, we'll depin the plug. Just push those tabs in, pull the wire off, and using electrical tape, we'll secure it to the wire. Now that we got our wire situated, we will put the back cap back on. All right, so if your vehicle's not equipped with the uh, puddle lights and the cameras, then we are use these uh, plates to fill the gaps. So you just work this corner one in first, and then get your bottom one in. So now that we got it together, we'll use our hands, clamp it together, flip it over, and put our torque screws back in. All right, now that those are tight, we will put our mirror back on. Just like that. And last but not least, our trim piece. All right, so now we got our mirror back on, our trim piece back on. Our last steps are gonna be to replace the seal and put our foam seal back on. So to get this back in, you just push on it and the fill it go into place. 
nice and tight. We'll take our wire, run it through the bottom of this plug hole and reinstall our foam. All right, so now before we put this back on the door, we want to re we want to reinsert our JST connector. You just want to pull up on those tabs so they're locked back in and insert it. Put those tabs up into the window, just like that. All right, now we're ready to put the mirror back on. All right, so first things first, we'll want to run our wire in and we're going to go through this big round hole, push it through, reach over, grab our slack out. All right, now that we've got the slack out, this piece goes in first. You rock it in and up. And then that's what's actually holding it on until we get our bolts in. All right, so now that our wire's through the door, our mirror is mounted. We will go ahead and re-secure all the fasteners. All right, so from here, we'll plug our plug in and we'll throw the wire back over the door. Get all the slack out of it and we'll put our trim piece back on. Boom, just like that. And now we'll run our wire into the engine bay. So to do that, there's a little gap in the upper quarter panel that leads right into the engine bay. And we're gonna follow that gap. All right, so now that we've got our wire in this uh, upper fender portion, uh, we're just gonna reach our hand in there, fill for the wire, and pull it through. Just like that. All right, so this vehicle is not equipped with the puddle light and camera option, but if your vehicle is, you can definitely refer to the written instructions and tap into the power and ground on the circuit that is within the uh, side mirror itself. Um, if your vehicle is equipped with upfitter or uh, auxiliary switches, you can definitely tap into those for power. So if your vehicle has neither of these options, we do offer this off-road harness and the link is in the description below. Uh, it has a switch, a relay, power and ground for the relay, and two outputs. Um, and that's how you would get power and ground to your lights. All right, so I got my power and ground hooked up to the battery that feeds my relay. Switch is in the cab and my outputs are ran uh, one to each side and I'm going to go ahead and hook them up and uh, give it a test. We took our switch and came in through the firewall and up behind the knee bolster between the knee bolster and the uh, steering wheel itself and mounted it to the knee bolster. <laughs> 